In this video, I'm going to show you how to add new blog posts to your blog. If you start in your Wix dashboard, on the left-hand side, you'll see Blog. You can click in there, and you'll see a few different options on the left-hand side. Publish, Drafts, Scheduled, Trash, Categories. Under Publish is all of your blog posts that have already been published. You can see we have some example blog posts in here already with an image, the title, and the publish date. Under Drafts are posts that you're currently working on but you have not published yet. Under Scheduled, you can see posts that have been completed and are scheduled for posting, like this one about Washington, D.C. that's scheduled for December 15th. Finally, in Trash, you can see blog posts that you've got rid of, but you have the option in Trash to restore your posts in case you change your mind and decide not to delete one of these posts. The last one, the last option on the left-hand side is Categories, and these are your blog post categories. So it's groupings of posts. So for example, for a travel blog, you might have Asia, Europe, USA, blogging. And it's really easy to add a new post. You can just click New Category. I'm going to name this one Africa. You could add an image right here of whatever you want, and this will open up your media library. And then just stick a image in there. Super easy. Okay, so back under Posts, and then Published. You can see your listing of posts, and this is where you can create a new post. So if you click Create New Post, this blog post builder will show up. The first thing you can do is add a title, something like, I ate live squid in Korea. And then right underneath that is where you can put your blog text. So I just have this copied and pasted. We can stick all of this in here. And this is more of that uh, hipster ipsum that I mentioned earlier. So you can copy and paste. Usually I recommend writing out your post in a Word document or a Google Doc and, and editing it there and then moving it over. That way you have your own copy somewhere else and you can send it off to people without having to link to your website if you didn't want to for some reason. Once you have your text added in to the blog post, you can also add things like images. All you have to do is click in here and then click Add. And you've got a few different options. You can add an image, a gallery of images, a video, GIF files, dividers, buttons. So you can do some light designing of these posts, sort of like your web pages, but far more simple. So in this case, let's just add an image or two throughout here to make this, this blog post seem a little more interesting. I don't have any pictures of live squid, but we can do some general travel pictures like this. And so once you add an image, you'll have a few options here. You could do the actual size. You could do a smaller fit, best fit, full width. Um, this is really common is to align it to left or right so that there's text on one of the sides of the, um, the image. And these little white circles, you can drag these similar to on the, in the Wix editor to resize your image. And then you can also edit the image using the same uh, image editor as in the front end editor. You can change some of the settings, like a caption. And all text we'll talk about a bit later, but this is an SEO feature that essentially describes your image to the um, to search engines. So this would be woman in yellow holding model airplane. We'll just go ahead and name that. We'll do that for the caption too. You can also link your images. And finally, you can replace them. If you select any of your text, you also have all these options similar to a Google Doc or a Word document, and you can change any of these settings whenever you like. So you can make these things bigger. You can add headings to your document. You can put things into quotes, which is kind of cool. Let me show you what that looks like. And it breaks it out. It's all pretty straightforward if you've used a, any kind of text editor before. Now let's talk about some of the settings on the left-hand side. So under the Add Elements button, there's Settings. This is where you can, create a, uh, you can change your cover image. The cover image is what's, what's going to show on the front end of the website. It's this image right here. We'll keep this as the image that we've already added to the post for now. You can change the publish date, and so you can publish things retroactively. Say so you wrote something on May 1st, and you want it to say May 1st and be ordered in that way, so after these. So you can publish things retroactively. You also change the author. You can have, uh, I think, as many authors as you want. So if you wanted this author to be Dan, then you can just add an image from your media library. Maybe this guy's Stan. 
guest blogger. You can change your SEO settings. So these are pretty important. This, this is what's going to show up on Google for this post. You want your post to be optimized for search engines so that people who are looking for certain things, like what's it like to eat live squid in Korea, that, that would show up. So you can rewrite the title and description that's going to show on Google for this post if you'd like. Something like, what's it like to eat live squid? I did it in Korea. Come read my report. Okay, categories is what we talked about just a few minutes ago. It's the categorization of your posts. We'll categorize this one as Asia because South Korea is in Asia. You can tag this, and this is another way to categorize. Um, but it's a little, it's like on a smaller level. It's not a main category, but people can click on the tags and see other posts that have been categorized with the same things. So we categorize this Asia, Korea, squid, food, something like that. Monetize would be, you can offer subscriptions to your blog. Um, these aren't, it's not that common to offer subscriptions or blog posts, so we're not going to get into that too far. And then you can also set up Wix Multilingual, and we'll talk about Wix Multilingual um, in another video, but you can have a multilingual site, so maybe this post is in English and Spanish and Korean or something. Okay, so once you have your post looking the way you want it, up here, I'll say it will be turned automatically. Make sure you save your things periodically, though. And let's preview it. So here's what our post is going to look like. You can see the picture of Stan up here. If you click on Stan's name, you can see other things he's written. Here's our title and our text. Here's the image we added. And here's those tags. And if we clicked on that tag, we would be able to see all the posts with that tag. Okay, so let's X that up here. And now we can publish it. We can either publish the post immediately, save it as a draft, or we could schedule the post for the future. Google and other search engines like to see that you're publishing content periodically. So you could schedule your post. You could write five or ten articles, or however many articles you want to write, up ahead of time, and then post them on some kind of preset schedule. Maybe that's once a week or once a month, once every other week. It's up to you. Just to demonstrate this for you, I'm going to set this to publish on the 8th of July. Okay, post scheduled for July 8th. So that's worked, um, but actually I'm going to go ahead and publish this now for you for real so you can see what it looks like on the front end. Let's refresh our blog page. And here it is, Stan, one minute long read, I ate live squid in Korea. There it is. So it's really that easy to publish a blog post if you already have some written you can get those published very quickly, and if you're writing them regularly, the technology on Wix won't be an impediment to you. You should be able to have no problem navigating the blogging functionality in Wix. All right, that's it for this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.